Hi, how's it going? I'm glad you guys came back this week to see another video at Branching Out. Uh, this is what we're going to do today. These are rose hips, also known as uh, Rosa Rogosa, which is, uh, this is the elongated version of the rose hip, uh, the more wild rose hip, which is like a white flower. Um, this is the only one I'm actually familiar with, so it's the only one I'm going to talk about today. But what we're going to do is we're going to keep the seeds. We're going to collect all of these uh, these berries are ready to come off. You can see they come off pretty easy and when they after they get cold, but they are soft once they get uh, thawed out and stuff, so they become a little mushy. So we're going to let them dry out for quite a while until they get a little crispy on the outside, and then we're going to crush the shell that it creates and uh, gather the seeds. Now, what you might not know is itching powder is actually made from some of the, the seed uh, hairs that grow on the seed there and they collect them and it's very itchy. So you definitely don't want to be messing with that. It's like messing with uh, fine chopped fiberglass. So we're going to get together. We're going to pick a whole bunch of these in a little bucket and we're going to clean off this thing. And that's what we're going to use to help uh, continue with the, uh, the rose hip maze that we I sort of started a while ago. Um, Going to try and spend a little more time on it um, unfortunately i don't work in the same spot as i used to where it had a bush that was probably 10 times the size of this so i used to get an absolute ton of seeds so that's what we're going to do with that and then we're going to go and we're going to shop for some cranberries and we're going to collect the seeds out of them because i definitely want to plant cranberries next year which is a very easy thing to do they they seem to take well um, in, in good soil and uh, good moisture so let's get going, let's pick a bunch of these and I'll show you how much I ended up with. All right, so this is what I ended up with just on that one bush. It's pretty much the only one I have kind of left that's producing. Um, but yeah, as we go along, we're probably finding others to keep or repot or remove or transplant. But this is what I got. We're gonna let them dry out. That's the one thing we're gonna do, we'll get back to the house. But first we gotta go shopping for some cranberries. So I used one, I grabbed one bag last time and I had plenty to try. And then, you know, a few of them died from the damp, damping off disease. Um, but I've learned my lesson and I'm more confident this time around. So we're gonna get three bags and we're definitely gonna sit there, watch a movie and collect seeds. So stay tuned, we'll get into it. All right. So these are the rose hips that I picked right here. Again, we're gonna let them dry out. They're a lot easier to deal with when the shell becomes hard and uh, a little crispy and we just kind of just tap them with a hammer and they kind of crack pretty easily. So you can just break open, open there. But what you gotta watch for is those hairs on those seeds. That's what you definitely wanna watch for. Um, man, those things are itchy and it's like playing with insulation. It's just horrible. Um, here is my cranberry that I've been growing for a couple of months now. Uh, I, I had lost the first couple and this one just kind of snuck in there as a surprise so and it kept going so once I got the fan on here to help with the damping off disease um, it grew just fine same thing with this this is my very first lemon that grew and uh, she's doing well I, I actually like it she's really green lush good soil good soil moisture it looks like the cranberries need a little water they absorb a lot of water so I can't wait to get to building those uh, cranberry beds that I wanted to do. But yeah, here's another little lemon right there. And then let me just show you what I did for when uh, what I grabbed for um, the cranberry seeds. And you can see these are ones that are already dried out. And you just kind of pop them like that if sometimes you need a hammer. And all the seeds fall out. And if you look really, really close, and I'm going to get really close there. You see those little fibers, those little hairs? That's what caused the itching. So you want to be careful when you're messing with the, the rose hip seed. That's all I got to say. Be careful. This is my fridge. Not much to brag about in there. But hey, we got a bunch of these. Uh, I got these from No Frills. So these are like a no name. They look like a second. Uh, they're definitely not as plump and or as big as the ocean sprays that I got, but we're going to try them. We're going to do all, th all th three bags, and what I'm going to do is just cut them in half, stick them in a jar, shake them up, and I'll show you that process as we go. So first thing I'm going to do is get all these things cut up, and I'm going to have a snack. Have some raspberries, which are not as good as my raspberries. Very, you know, that's what I am now. And I just wanted to show the rest of the, you know, I got the rest of my seeds down in here. And in my my cold storage as well so i got all my nuts and my uh 
there's chestnuts in this one there's black walnuts in this one there's walnuts in that one and i forget what these ones are uh hickory i think they're hickory in there so yeah so let's get going let's get those cut up and uh get them separated all right so this is one full bag i'm going to do this two more times and the best part about the uh the cranberry is the cranberry floats so you just cut them in half give it a lot of agitation and all those seeds will just drop all the viable seeds will drop to the bottom and we'll just take a look at the bottom here and you can see all of those are seeds so pretty easy way to collect the seeds so all we have to do is just uh, scoop the uh, cranberries off the top and I'm gonna get rid of them because uh, I don't eat cranberry right now and don't have a way to store it at the, at the moment I mean in the future I plan to keep this stuff and use it in smoothies and and whatever but right at the moment I don't because I'm still trying to get into my farm or move to the farm so I'm setting things up as well but right now we just want to grab those seeds out of here and we're gonna make a million more of those so that's what we want to do so I'm just gonna like I said I'm just gonna scoop some of this stuff off the top and we're just gonna get rid of it you can put it in your compost feed it to your uh, chickens you can feed it to your uh, whatever animal you have you can eat, just eat them raw if you want they're a little bitter um, if you eat them raw, um, a little sour, but that's what we're going to do. So let's get on to the other two bags and, and then we'll get, I'll show you what I'm going to do with the seeds to dry them out. All right. So I'm just using this old coffee pot that I don't use it very often, but, um, yeah, just use a little coffee filter and I don't know if you can see that. See all those little red dots. Those are, those are all seeds. So it looks like I'm going to get about, wow, I want to say. 500 uh, you'll see it once I get it all done and I put it in a little little capsule thing but yeah once the water's drained I'll pull this out and then I'll just let this dry right on this uh, I got a little um, I know it's styrofoam but it's what I have and it's probably from the 1980s I've had it around for a while so I'm gonna get some use out of it and just put the put it on top of there to dry and once it's all dry they should just flake out and uh, come off pretty easily and then I'll put it into a container and save it for spring for planting. So yeah, that's that's what we got for cranberry. Pretty easy to do cranberry, um, and they're not bad. These ones are actually were better than the ocean spray ones that I had from last year, um, taste wise. Um, yeah, if I had another reason to use them, I would definitely use them. So we're gonna let that drain out, like I said, and then we're just gonna put it on there for drying. All right, this is the leftover. So if you're making Christmas, you could save this and make your own little sauce. I'm not going to do that. I have been munching on it though. It's it's not that bad. Some are sweeter than others, but they're a little tart. Um, but you know, Mary Poppins said, a "Spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down." So that's what I did there, and then now they're over here on their coffee filters, and I just kind of drained the water out as best I could. It'll take a couple of days, so by the next video that I do, um, I'll show you how much I actually got. There's quite a bit there. I mean, believe it or not, there's probably 1,500 seeds there. And that should be enough to start my cranberry beds in the spring. But I'm going to start the bed sooner, but then I'm going to germinate the seeds. And then I have uh, a few mangoes here I was munching on, and obviously I'm going to keep the seeds and try them again. And uh, over here, this here is holy basil and lupins. So these are from my garden, the ones I did grow. So I, I collected a bunch of that. And this holy basil, hmm, it sure does smell really nice, man. It smells like a really good soup or just a really nice hearty candle. But yeah, so that's the end of uh, this video. Um, don't forget, if you like these videos, don't hit that thumbs up down there. Subscribe and tell all your friends. And uh, we'll see you next week. And obviously I'll be doing more. Uh, I'm gonna, I've been a little medically uh, prevented from doing some of my stuff right now so I'm just doing what I can not what I can't and that's what I suggest everybody do and uh, keep growing see you next week